Greetings, I am Pastor Deborah Muter at Gethsemane Lutheran Church, and I'm glad to have you join me for devotions for Tuesday, December 16th, 2020. Today we are in the church again, and I've got the banner, the Advent banner behind me. We have candles for each of the, the uh, we have lights on each of the candle words that are represented here, and they, um, that's because this coming Sunday will be the fourth Sunday in Advent, and we are preparing for that. Peace, prepare, rejoice, and this week, the word Emmanuel. Let me move this down a little bit now that you've seen it. Um, let's begin with the prayer of the day. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. With your abundant grace and might, free us from the sin that would obstruct your mercy, that willingly we may bear your redeeming love to all the world. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading for today, as usual, we do the New Testament reading, and this is going to be from Romans 16. This is the end of the book of Romans, written by St. Paul, the last three verses, and Paul being the particular kind of writer that he is, it is one sentence in three verses. So here we go. Now to God, and I'm sorry, this is Romans 16, verses 25 to 27. Now to God, who is able to strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed, and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles, according to the command of the Eternal, to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the proclamation of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, one name for Jesus is, here it is right here, Emmanuel, right? God is with us. Sometimes it's spelled with an E, sometimes with an I, but it all means the same thing. God is with us here and now. That is what Advent leads us to with Christmas, that God is with us not just on Sunday morning in church or Saturday night, not just when we receive communion, not just at the special occasion of a baptism or confirmation. God is always, always with us. Emmanuel, that is why Jesus came to live among us, even though at the end of that he died and was raised again to eternal life. He is wanted people to know then that God is with us and leaving the Holy Spirit to be with us, God is always with us. I guess I said that enough times now. God's with us. God's with you and with me today in good times and in bad, in celebrations and in sorrows, in whatever's going on. God has promised to be with us now and always. That promise, that hope, that joy is something we celebrate, something that we light a candle about to remember God is with us. This weekend we will hear, um, well, the devotions tomorrow will, will point us towards that. We'll hear from again from Luke chapter 1, when the angel appears to Mary. This is becoming that exciting good news as we get so much closer to Christmas. Let's go ahead now and pray together, remembering that as we pray, God hears us because why? God is with us. We bring our prayers before you, dear Lord, and we thank you. And we praise you for. We pray for our concerns for this world and for our nation. As we pray for this world, we especially lift up the people of Ethiopia. We pray for the concerns of the communities in which we live. We lift our faith communities to you in prayer. We pray for our friends and our families, for those dealing with difficulty and those celebrating with joy. We pray for Kobe and Judy, 
Dan and Kathy, Mike and Joanne, Stephanie, Nelda and Ed, the family of Sue D, the family of Lee Heiser. We pray for Associated Churches and Just Neighbors and the work that they do here in Fort Wayne. Be with us this day and help us in the following ways. As you, Lord Jesus, have taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The creator of the stars bless your advent waiting. The long expected savior fill you with love. The unexpected spirit guide your journey. May God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God.